Okay, so here's our upheaval defense. I'm going to do a middle rush to A side. Um, this is sort of high risk. We like to throw a grenade here because you get guys rushing up to the left on that house. Um, as you can see, there's a few guys at the back. This is probably where you're going to start seeing uh, the enemy. Um, you see a guy here jump up on the barrels, and you know what? When you're standing beside barrels, you shoot the barrels. I always use the barrels. It's a lot easier to, to take the barrels out kill the guy and it's a lot more fun than uh, shooting him direct. So we're going to go through the back here because there's uh, Betty on our left. And uh, we saw on our radar there were two guys over here. Looks like one's probably dead. And there's one um, probably in the top of this uh, house to my right here. So we use a recon. There's only two of us left and two of them. So definitely use a recon. Uh, but you always want to check beforehand uh, before you do. I don't like going up into that house. So hopefully he's come out, so that's good. Um, yeah, most in most cases it's a lose, it's a losing scenario to go up into that we house. Will so. On for Germany. so we do get. It. I guess he was gassed there. Okay, here's a B side rush. Um, this is going to be a straight rush, and we again like to throw the grenade to that. Uh, blown out hole in the, in the house that's uh, up ahead right there on our left and this is where you're going to see guys if they're rushing on the left hand side or coming through that house so we're going to tread a bit slowly we already have a guy going in there so we know probably there's no snipers that are trying to get him or whatever otherwise we would have saw them shoot at him already we know there are a couple guys at least a couple guys back there we get an assist looks like there's at least one guy at A and one guy up in this house here we don't have a frag grenade, but we'll at least gas him so he doesn't shoot the barrels out on us. Now I'm the only one left, which kind of sucks. It looks like the enemy was killed that was at A. So, you know, we just got to keep our ears open, actually, so we can hear somebody. They had a recon, but I'm pretty sure I had camo on there. So it's pretty useful when you can hear them. Like, it's awesome. Like, you know exactly where they're coming from. So we're just going to wait here. It's likely that that guy that died at the target at A um, had the bomb. So it's pretty damn likely that they're going to come to A. There's still two left, though. So we get another one. Wow, martyrdom. Man, I don't know. That's kind of uh, a waste of perk 3, if you ask me. Anyway, so we're going to wait. We still know that he... Uh, he has to come to A to get the bomb, unless he's already done so, but I don't think he has, otherwise we probably would have heard him, or seen him, or he would have seen us. So, again, patience, patience, patience. We still have 45 seconds, we're all alone, but uh, we sit here and wait, because, Time is running out. like I said, we should be able to hear him to appro uh, approach A to pick up the bomb. And we hear him, here he comes. It almost sounds like he's behind us. To our left. So we're going to wait, see if we can pick up any more audible cues here. Right here, there he is. And we get a nice drive by knife kill. So again, you just want to be patient. He didn't actually have a lot of time left. Um, so that's why we were able to wait for him. So we switched from our. Um, our camel class here, again, switching classes like that is, is uh, important. We don't have any Bettys here. I, think, I hope I have an example of the defense with uh, Bettys at B. But anyways, uh, this is my one of my favorite spots for hiding. And I'll do this after a round where I have uh, taken a position in, in the room above. Um, a lot of times I'll place Bettys on the, just going up the stairway there. Um, and, uh, and I'll sit up top, and they know I'm up top, and um, I don't like to use a silencer on this map when I'm doing this. So, when I don't use a silencer, they know um, I'm upstairs in the previous round, but now I'm going to sit at this bottom position. So if I do fire from this position, they will think that I'm upstairs again. So they're going to come around the corner and try to go upstairs without even uh, pausing or thinking about it, and I can nail them. Now, in this case, it didn't work, but I still think, I, you know, I think I have a silencer on there, but um, 
Again, when you don't use a silencer, the first round, take a position above, in the room above, and if you do get some kills, and they know you, you were up there, then take position in the bottom, right beside that chair that I showed you. Um, and then when you fire, they will think that you're upstairs, and they'll just run by, and you can take them out at will. So we're the last one, we got recon. So we're going to utilize our recon. And, uh... See if we can't flush out this last guy. He's probably going to wait. But he can't wait too long, because he doesn't have a whole lot of time left. So we're going to try and flank him. Looks like he's going A. We're going to try and flank him here. And he's in the house. Bottom level. I doubt he'd go upstairs. He's still over there. He's probably in the corner over here. And, uh, there he is. Running out. And we get some artillery. Yeehaw! So here's the B-side house the defense with Bettys. This is the one I wanted to show you. And we had artillery, or our teammate. So we plant a bomb or a Betty at the target, and we plant one right there. Now again, if you're going from round to round, um, you want to move the position of your Bettys, okay? So, actually sounds like you guys destroyed it. And you want to keep your ears open, because he blew that Betty away. And we turn around immediately, and uh, we're able to get him, catch him coming up the stairs. But again, on a, on, a, on the next round, if we were to play the next round on defense, I would place the Betty probably in the, around the corner near the top of the stairs. Um, you just want to change those positions. And this is our spot up here. I've taken out entire teams at this spot. And uh, again, this is a spot I would be in or beside the stairs um, or to the left. And uh, then the next round, I would take a position beside the chair in the lower level.